Hi, I'm Sandy McCauley, and in this video I'm going to show you how to retrieve a file that I've purchased from the site My Vinyl Designer. Uh, first of all, you go to their website, right up here, myvinyldesigner.com, and then I'm going to log in. Now, when I purchased uh, the video that I, or I'm sorry, I purchased the cutting file, I had set up an account, and of course took note of, you know, what uh, email address and password that I was using. And so now I'm going to show how, and, and at the time when I got the file, I was able to download it then, but I want to be able to show what to do if you need to go back in and download your file again. So I'm going to click on log in. And right here I put in the, um, the email address that I used for it. And then of course I type in the password that I set up for, um, for that account. And then if you can check this box if you want it to remember next time so that it's easier to log in, that's kind of up to you. And then go ahead and click on the word login. Okay, now then once I get logged in, um, I, one thing I notice is that I can look over here and it says over here log out, which means that I'm logged in. Uh, but I can go to, there's a choice between my account, my orders, and my orders is the one I want to click on because I want to go see something that I've already placed an order with. So I click on that link and it comes up and it shows my uh, order number right here and then I click on the word view. And then I, you know, I have my receipt information. And now this is the part that's important, is what file format do you want to use? Now I'm making this video specifically for those who own Click and Cut or use K&K Studio to uh, cut to whatever cutter they own. And the file format that imports easiest out of the four choices, out of the AI, EPS, SVG, and GSD, is the EPS format. So go ahead and select that. And then click on this link, Download Files in EPS Format. Now then, it should pop up and say save as, and so now then you need to know where you're saving it. And often that's one of the things that uh, my customers will not pay attention to, is where is it going to save it. Always make sure you know where your file is going to be, because then otherwise you have to go search your hard drive and find it. Um, if you really struggle with that, then just come up and look for desktop. Just double click on desktop, make sure it says desktop, and then just go ahead and save it right there. And then once you have it in your desktop, you know it's going to be easy to find and then you can move it to a more suitable folder after that. Um, if you're comfortable with using My Documents or your Documents folder, you can double click on that. Again, make sure it says Documents and save it there. If you already have a K and K folder set up or perhaps an EPS folder, if you keep your EPS file separately, then you can again, you know, mark that. Now notice up here, now this doesn't it work this way quite the same in XP, but I believe in Vista and certainly in Windows 7, you can see exactly where it's going to be saving your file. So you might want to take note of that. Um, again, for right now, I'm just going to make the easiest selection. I'm going to double click on my desktop and save it to my desktop and click on save. Now, I'm not going to uh, keep the video going for the whole thing because it takes quite a while for these videos to save. They have a very nice high quality PDF to show you what the files look like when finished as well as the individual cutting files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and verify that it's saving down here. And in, depending on which browser you're using, it may show one thing or something else. But the idea is that I'm going to go ahead and just allow it to save. And so, you know, don't get in a rush. Don't think it's an automatic thing. It may take a while to, uh, to download the file.